the bollywood film batmavadi based on a poem about a rajput queen written by the 16th century sufi poet malik mohammad jc has sparked protests across the country over with representations and distortion of facts that the sanjeev lila banshali and actor deepika padukone have received several threats the latest from a senior haryana bjp leader who offered rupees 10 crore bounty for their heads suraj pal amu the party's media coordinator in haryana told the indian express he has announced to double the prize money of rupees 5 crore announced by meerut youth som the party however has distanced itself from the leader's remarks in light of increasing protests across the country against the release of badmavadi the film has been indefinitely delayed the film directed by bansali and stars deepika padukone shahid kapoor and ranveer singh was originally slated to be released on december 1st let's understand who is protesting badmavadi badmavadi first ran into trouble back in january when bansali was slapped and assaulted by members of the karni sena the angry mob also ransacked the sets of the film for offending the rajput community this month protests intensified in rajasthan maharashtra uttar pradesh west bengal karnataka and haryana ahead of its release in rajasthan members of rajput community agitated by blocking the entrances to kumbalgarg and chitorgarh forts and burning effigies of bansali demanding a complete ban of the film chief minister vasundhara raje broke her silence on saturday by appealing to union minister of information and broadcasting smriti rani to ensure the film is not released until necessary changes are made so that the sentiments of any community are not hurt up deputy chief minister keshav prasad mayuri on sunday said he would not allow the film to be released until controversial parts were omitted the state government had earlier told the inb ministry that the film could have an adverse effect on law and order in up members of the bharat kashri samaj one among a dozen of other organizations held protest in calcutta last week and said batmavadi has deeply hurt the indian culture and the values of the hindu population in the country the scenes which are objectionable and harmful to indian culture need to be deleted before release despite the supreme court dismissing a petition seeking a ban on the film on november 10 a fresh plea was filed on november 17 while quashing the first petition the apex court had observed that it cannot intervene in the central board of film certification decision which had granted certificate to certificate to batmavati bansali in a statement issued over the protest said this movie embroiled into so many controversies because of some rumor rumor is this in the movie a dream scene has been filmed between rani batmavati and aladdin kilji i have already rejected this claim and also given a written proof of this today again i am reiterating to this video that in our movie there is no such scene between rani batmavati and aladdin kilji which would hurt the sentiments of anyone deepika padukone in an interview with another leading media said we are extremely proud and content of the film we have made when the heart is in the right place no one can stop a film she added for how long would the entertainment industry be made a scapegoat for everything that happens in this country why attack cinema which is full of love and which brings people together why curb people's freedom of expression how long can we allow some people to get away with what they have been doing give batmavadi a chance don't form preconceived notions sagit kapoor said veteran director shyam benegal is the latest to criticize cbfc and government for his inaction against those threatening the film's director and actors speaking to the media benegal said this is a democracy people may not agree with what i have to say but i have to but i have the right to say it isn't it the job of government to prevent murders and attacks when being made publicly on national tv people are being threatened publicly he added